Okay, so today I'm just going to show you how to connect LabVIEW to Robot Studio. Um, so it's just going to be combining two of the previous videos that I've, I've already done. So um, I've shown you how to offset the, the robot arm and also uh, using TCP um, to connect uh, from Visual Studio. So I'm just going to do that from LabVIEW today. Um, so the first thing I did is I have Vision Assistant, and I'm just going to set up a little simple pattern matching um, VI here. So I'm just going to open the images first. So these can be found under the examples in Vision Assistant if you need them. Click OK. And if you go to Process and Functions here and scroll down and find Pattern Matching. And then you need to set up a template. So I'm just going to use this kind of sprocket kind of thing here. And we'll click next and finish. And I'm just going to set the region of interest. Call that hemp first. This one. And we'll set this region of interest to the whole image. Just that green box that you see around the image. And I'm just going to run a couple of these through just to make sure that it'll find our template and it looks fine. So, what I'll do is I'll just convert this to LabVIEW. So, if you just go scroll up the tools and click on create LabVIEW VI, this will do everything for you. So, you don't need to do anything really. So, we'll just choose where to save that and we'll call this pattern matching. OK, uh, just click click in next and then what we want is matches. We haven't calibrated anything so it doesn't matter which one you choose. Um, but I'm just going to choose matches and click finish. And if your lab view is like mine it will take a minute or two. Um, but hopefully it will be a little bit faster for you. The cool thing about, about this is that you can convert it to C code as well. Um, so if you're if you're using C, you, you can convert it straight to C as well, which is quite cool. Okay, so here we got the front panel. Um, we'll make this a little bit bigger. And we'll just test it now. Perfect, so it gives us an X position and a Y position, so that's what we need. So if we just go to the block diagram of this, I'm just going to shut down this. don't need that anymore. Uh, no. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this into a flat sequence. Got everything in, yep. Okay, perfect. And what I need to do is then is just extract the X and Y coordinates. Um, so it's coming from this array here. So what I'll do is I need to go from an array to a cluster. So if you right click on programmer functions and go to array, you'll find that. And then we're going to need to unbundle that cluster. So if you go to clusters and unbundle by name, and we probably have to do this two, maybe three times. And so we'll see how that does, and we'll just wire this up together. Position and that gives us X and Y perfect. So, what we need to do is convert this to a string. Uh, so, when we're sending them out from LabVIEW, it goes as a string. So, we need to go to format into string. Uh, we want to send it as an integer, so create constant. I'll 
do the same for the boy as well. So right click, um, we will create constant. If you don't put this percentage D in, um, what will happen is it will send, a, if you're sending, for example, 76, it will be 76.00000. So I just want to send 76 and not all the, the zeros afterwards. So that's what we do here. And what I'll do then is I will concatenate them together and separate them by a comma so I can tell which one is the X and which one is the Y. So the X to the top way to the bottom and then we create a constant and we put a comma in there. Okay perfect. So now what we'll do is we'll just add a frame after this. Okay and we'll open up the TPC connection. So if you look for data communications, protocols and TCP, just pin that to the screen for now. You got to open a connection. Read, write and close. So we'll be writing first so we just loop out the connection IDs first so we all are on the same page and the same with the arrows so for our address if we right click and hit constant we'll just put in the local address and we'll send over port 5000 And this is the string we'll be sending. Okay, and I'm not going to send that back in, in this, but if you are, you can just read it out here. Okay, and that's all it is to set up Lavio. So what I'll do is I'll have another video, and in the second video I'll show you how to connect that then to Robot Studio.